Kicking it old school. Howdy. God, bro, you're taking up like the whole damn screen. Whoa! How am I supposed to cut you for the thumbnail? I'll zoom out. I'll zoom out. I'll zo I'll, I'll, I scooched up. Let me sit back. Oh, you scooched up. Yeah. See? Alright, bro. What's that face? <laughs> no, you can't, you can't dip out of that. I'm dipping. Anyways, Hi, kicking it old school, guys. Old? Remember the good old days of metalcore with some Christian undertones? As I Lay Dying, August Burns Red. Mm. I don't think Kills Such a Gage. They were more about straight edgeness. Was Four Today? One? Four Today was super Christian. Was As I Lay Dying? Tim Lynn says before he put that hit on his wife. Yeah, he was super Christian. Um, Shadow's Fault? I don't. I don't know if they were. I don't think Dang. so. In the midst of lions was super crazy. Well, there, but yeah. But that's their shtick. Yeah. And when I mean shtick, I don't mean it like disrespectfully. I'm just saying, come on. Yeah, we get it. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> we saw Dang. this, and I have not heard yeah. this band in a while. <laughs> JC, <laughs> Sean, yeah, Ahi Gang. Okay, just slowly put it down, yeah. subtly, because yeah. we're just being real subtle right now, guys. Look, August Burns Red. I have not heard them a lot. I saw them live. They were great. Really? Oh, I saw them at... I, I figured they're just... I believe good. it was Warped Tour. Oh, okay. They're I, fucking I, great. I figure they're just as good live as, like, a... Oh, dude. They have these, like, uplifting... Like, even if... You know, whatever. They have these uplifting... Like, people complain about the instrumentation is, like, generic. No, they have these uplifting lyrics. Like, they have this one song. I think it was, like, Afterburner. I forgot. I, I haven't listened to those songs in a bit. They have August this one Burns vocal... Red is generic? No, some people were, yeah, some people were. Really? really? That's what people say? Some people say that they have, like, the generic metalcore tone. But isn't that's that, what, but isn't, like... But they were, like, one of the early people. That's what I'm saying, were yeah. they one of the early ones? Yeah, it's one of those ones, you know, these fucking hipsters want to say, but, oh, yeah. metalcore wasn't that cool. Whatever, calm down. Yeah. It was all cool. It, it's like those people were like, Slipknot actually wasn't that great for the genre. Like, they defined an entirely new set of music yeah. standards, whatever. August Burns Red have these, like, uplifting lyrics, like, there's one that's, like, life can be overwhelming, and mm. it just is, like fast guitars and it's mm -hmm. like beautifully arranged i actually i love august burns red i just haven't heard them in a while because i, yeah, know, I think the last thing shit. i heard was like the christmas stuff they did for oh them. yeah i forgot about that that was cool but i also haven't heard kissing engage and the singer jesse leach is it's, on this one featured yeah jesse leach right yeah leach. i um i'm a howard guy and i like howard well yeah he howard, also howard howard's kind of shout out howard howard please Howard is, is, a, is a strong man. He's so cool, man. He's a strong voice. You know? um, live, he, cool. live, he was such a sweetheart. He was super cool. Making yeah. sure Bay was great. Tower. Anyways, not about him. Jesse Leach, he's also a very great vocalist. Yeah, he's, he I like cool. him a lot. I like his style, too. Like, My Last Serenade was the song I was fucking playing for every fucking alt-emo punker girl I was trying to get with. It worked, obviously. Anyways, this song's Ancestry. It's on Sharp Tone Records. I guess they changed records because I think they were on Roadrunner or something. Were they? I forgot. It's two months ago. Yeah. I have not heard them in a while. I guess they have a new one, Death Below, coming out, a new album, in March. March 24th. That's forever. From now. Okay. And let's see if they still got it. I mean, I don't know. It's like a pretty long five minutes, and it looks like a cinematic. Yeah, it looks we'll more see. cinematic. We'll yeah. I mean, knowing them, it's probably going to be a very heartfelt song with some Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Themes, but... I think they usually do longer songs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's like the golden era of yeah. metalcore where they actually like wanted to give you your money's worth, mm -hmm. but they put everything. But yeah, let's see mm -hmm. what it is. August Burns Red, Ancestry with Jesse Leach. Three, two, one. Okay. That's a pretty alright start, okay? Yeah. Sweaty in one frame, not sweaty in the rest. No. No days off. Okay. Bro. 
Sorry, you can't yell in there. He's perfect. Mm -hmm. Damn, no head on the base. He don't give a <laughs> shit. No, that's good. That dude looks the same. Yeah, I was about to say, he looks the same from when I've seen him forever ago. Exactly. He fits so well. Mm -hmm. His vocals out is perfect for their style. It kind yeah. of like aligns. Especially with the lyrics. Not lost a fucking I know. Staff. Still rocking the Ibanez. <laughs> that was the guitar back then to play this. Man, he's going. I like the duality with his parts yeah. of the song. But god damn, bro. That's what I'm telling you. They have these hard-hitting songs where you're like... <laughs> Some of them are very uplifting where it's trying to like help you, help guide you through life. Like, mm -hmm. look, it's hard now, but just keep fighting. Then there's these songs. You're like, Jesus Christ, bro. That's what I miss about yeah. the metal scene now. Like, some of them still do this, mm -hmm. but there was like a lot more bands back then that had something to prove. So they would like yeah. really put their whole like soul into it. I gotta fuck with that. <laughs> I'm like, that was so good. I'm glad to see a band hasn't lost their edge. I mean, I'm not saying nothing against the other bands, but it seems like a lot of bands just, nowadays, they just kind of lose. No, they know who the fuck they are, and they're still staying with that. God, those, some of the lyrics were heavy. Even the, like, you can hear them. Yeah. Like, but they haven't lost a step instrumentally, skill-wise, 
Jesse Leach was a perfect fit for this. Yeah, I was like the duality of his lyrics when he came in. Where he's like, if like, I didn't know who the band was, I was hearing a song. I was like, this feel like I need a clean here. And then when Jesse Leach's part comes in, I'm like, oh, it fits fine, dude. Yeah, it's so good. It, yeah, exactly. And yeah. like, oh, that was oh so good. I'm gonna listen to it again. I can't wait. Yeah, for I, I kind of want to do it again too. I was gonna say, but I have not. Because I was so like in, um, invested in the lyrics. Mm-hmm. I was like, kind of. I feel like I missed some of the instrumental the instrumental stuff. Oh no! They like they have like they were the the riffs that they did were like the ones that you know. Oh, what was that one? Destruction of a King or Rose? It was Destruction of a King. They were like they really took those type of riffs too, and they also mm-hmm. did kind of a similar thing, but. You just can't be August Burns, right? They just have that. They've always been who they are. Mm-hmm. They're not changing. And yeah, it's it's one of those songs where like really personal. And you're yeah. like, God, that's so good. And it just sounds pleasing to the ears too. Like it's especially mm-hmm. the part like dude, and he kept going with the clean parts, and mm-hmm. it like lifts you back up out of the shadow and then takes you back down into it. That's good, bro. And yeah, damn, I don't even know. If, yeah, <laughs> I gotta read the members list because I don't remember. Like I'm pretty sure it's the same vocalist, but. Because I haven't caught up with them a lot. Yeah, the it, one, that one guy looked exactly the same. I was going to say, one of the dudes, I'm like, I know he yeah, I They still I, rock an eye, but yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to like watch, like, uh, I think it was like a like a behind the scenes type thing with them. Oh, yeah. Like, runs red. Yeah, I think they had a DVD where they had. Like, and then there was, I remember the guy with the same haircut. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah. <laughs> like, you look exactly the same. Bro, yeah, I used to watch all those behind the scenes with, yeah. like, August, like August Burns. I used to watch with like Black Dahlia Murder. Mm-hmm. Oh, rest in peace, too. Trevor, bro. Yeah. God damn. But um, dude, I'm glad to see that the bands I like back then are still kicking ass, bro. Like Kills and Engage, the new songs I've heard from them with Jesse because he rejoined the band, mm-hmm. they're pretty good too, and he's a good vocalist. So yeah, yeah I'm glad it just worked out because oh, with like, you know me with some of the new bands, we're like, like maybe it's time to hang. Maybe yeah. it's like. It, either a member change or they just don't seem like they have it. No, these guys, they're fine. Mm-hmm. If you guys have any other ones, help. Put some other old ones. We'll see if we still fucking, they still got it. Yeah. There's some vocalists that are still like kicking ass, even though they're getting up there. There's some that I see that I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I showed you one earlier during the podcast. Yeah. With that, that with Cannibal Core. Like, okay. We're, we're, yeah. Chris Barnes, you need to. Oh, yeah, I'm relaxed, Chris. But yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm glad these guys didn't get. You know, they're not phoning in that they're like over it. Cause it doesn't sound like they're over it. It's not like they still got a lot to say. Mm-hmm. So yeah, guys, subscribe. We're getting there. Put more shit down there. Maybe agree with Sean on points that you know against me. You know, you know what's fine. I told you I was over it. I'm over it. Okay, look, it's fine, Sean. You know, you you do the outro. I'll show how I'm over it with the comments you send, those other videos. You know, you, you, I, I hear it. When I edit it, I hear it, Sean. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, wow. Not even going to come clean. You know what? It's Thanks for watching, Every everybody. time. Yeah, I can't take this. I can talk to you about that. Okay. Oh.